Hey family, I wanted to jump on here really quickly because this word is burning like fire in my heart. God is so strategic on how he does things. He has revealed something to me. I'm so thankful. This is just gonna be a raw uncut video, okay? I am so thankful that I know how to wait on the Lord. And this word and message that I'm releasing right now, it ties into the word I released the other day about the famous pastor. <sighs> Holy Spirit, help me. So the Lord revealed something to me on the 22nd of February, and I released a word that day about shower down. And I know many of you have seen it. But the Lord was showing me something that day in my prayer time with him about the Passover. And I sat on that word about the Passover. I didn't release it because I knew it wasn't time. I released the word I released about the famous pastor because the Lord told me it was time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You all, I am just overjoyed at how God cares so much for us and if we just wait for him and his perfect timing he redeems us i'm getting so much persecution and backlash from that word which tells me that i'm right on track but there are more that are for thus says the lord than those who are against what thus says the lord and he will be dealing with the hearts of those people in the mighty name of jesus but I stand here and sit here rather today with clean hands and clean hearts to reveal and share with you guys what God has revealed to me in regards to this. So on the 22nd of February, I'm in North Dallas. We had a very severe hailstorm. Okay. Those of you who watch the news, you've seen it. It was maybe about two, three in the morning. I was awakened by the storm and so was my son. He came in my room because the wind was so violent. The hail was dropping almost like bricks, it sounded like, on the roof. And so he came in my room and he was very afraid, my God. And he said, Mommy, why does God do this? Why does, why does he allow storms like this? <laughs> my God, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it together. Holy Spirit, help me. And as my son lay next to me, I said, Son... Don't harden. I told my baby, he's 11. I said, son, don't harden your heart against the Lord. I said, storms will come because they have to. Okay, because, because of God's judgment. I said, but it's going to pass over. I kept saying, it's going to pass over us. It's going to pass over. Don't be afraid. Don't harden your heart. I said, God will always protect us because we're in his will. My God, help me, Holy Spirit. So it was not strange because before I went to sleep that night, I was in the book of Exodus and I was in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 30. And I was reading about the Passover. And the Lord just had me in that thing. And I knew it was something on it, but I just didn't know. Okay, but then he began to reveal to me in that word that I released on the 22nd, part of that word that a lot of you are crossing over. You're passing over into the things of God. My God, you're in the will of God. You're in alignment with God. So I'll link that video when I get a chance. I might not do it right away because I'm not at home, but I'll link it when I get a chance if you didn't catch it. So he had me on this Passover thing. I'm telling my baby this in the wee hours in the morning as the storm is literally passing over us. There was no damage done to my vehicle. As hard as that hail was coming down, I was just like, all right, car alarms was going off, all kind of stuff. You would have thought everybody's windows were busted out, okay? But the storm passed over. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't know he was preparing me for this storm I'm in right now today with all this persecution that's coming to me from what I released, the words that I released for God, they were not my words. So let me get deeper into this revelation. My God, and I have a holy righteous anger. Yes, I do. Because, my God, let me just keep going. And so, 
As the Lord was working and dealing with me about the Passover, as I said before, I held on to the word because I wasn't sure if the Lord was calling me to call a corporate um, Passover. The people are not going to know what to eat, meaning what has flour or leaven in it and what does not. Like if I call this fast today, Lord, they're not going to have time to prepare, right? So let me get to the, the scripture. So this is what the Lord showed me in Exodus 12, 1. It says the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. Verse one says, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, this month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. My God, and that was sticking with me so much when it and when the scripture said the first month of your year again this is the passover from egypt from bondage from slavery into freedom this is the first month of your year so he was saying for them to take the passover and so then my god when the lord was leading me to second chronicles 30 this speaks of hezekiah celebrating the passover and as i was going back and forth with the lord like should i call it corporately or are you just saying this to me like i'm sitting on this thing right because I knew I had to sit on it. Again, I did not sit on the word that I released the other day because I wasn't supposed to sit on it. I was supposed to release it in the mighty name of Jesus. Who helped me, Holy Spirit? And so as I, I went back and forth with the Lord, like, okay, how should I do this? He showed me the key verse in Second Chronicles 30, uh, verse 18. I'm going to start there. So this is when the whole assembly had agreed to celebrate the Passover, right? Um, and the the Levites had to kill the Passover lambs for those who weren't clean ceremonially uh, and could not consecrate their lambs to the Lord. So verse 18 says, although most of the many people who came from Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, and Zebulon had not purified themselves, yet they ate the Passover contrary to what was written. <sighs> my God. But Hezekiah prayed for them saying, may the Lord who is good pardon everyone who sets their heart on seeking God, the Lord, the God of their ancestors, even if they are not clean according to the rules of the sanctuary. So I started my Passover uh, celebration as the Lord directed me because I knew he was pressing me to do that, to not have any leaven. And as I did not have any leaven, unbeknownst to me, I did not know he was going to have me release that message in regards to the famous pastor, okay? I released that message with no leaven in me. I released that message with no leaven in me. My God, Father, thank you for vindicating me. And so all of you all who are persecuting me and your tongues are rising up against me in judgment, I'm condemning each and every one of you because you don't understand what God is doing. Man, I promise I'm coming to you all in love, but I'm so excited because God is so good to reveal this. And even right now, I'm in an open vision of this very moment. I've been in this moment. God has shown me this moment in the past. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for confirming this moment and these words that are coming out of my mouth that are coming from you. I am not here to play around with the kingdom of God. If you did not know, God did not give this ministry that name. This is his ministry for nothing. No kingdom is going to be above his in the mighty name of Jesus. No person is going to be above him in the mighty name of Jesus. And he is calling this world to repentance. My God, it doesn't matter who you are. My God. And so in this, the Lord is saying he wants to remove the, the leaven from your hearts, from his people's hearts. And this is why he's dealing with the church. And this is why he's dealing with certain leaders who have let leaven into their hearts, into their church. And he's not the only one, the one I talked about the other day. And I don't want to, I'm just tired, okay? Okay. Because I don't have time to, to keep coming against every tongue that come against me. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do per the scripture, Isaiah 54, 17. And I'm just going to say this here. Even I just know this, that the enemy is sending these attacks and people just coming out. I haven't even seen some of these people comment 
on the on the videos that I've been doing, but they're coming out of the woodworks, attacking my ministry, God's ministry, attacking my life coaching business, God's business, which is a ministry, just attacking, 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 and it's all good because this tells me again that I'm right on track. But God is so awesome. I had to come on here and just reveal this revelation and share it with you guys. Because God had me realize, I have to go because my son's basketball game has just started. But he had me realize as I was sitting on the bleachers watching my son practice, that there was no leaven in you. There was no leaven in you. When I had you release that message, there was no leaven in you. I'm done. I got to go. I love you all with the love of Christ. Thank you for those of you who are praying for me. I know the disciples said count it joy when we are persecuted. Yes, I do count it joy, but it don't feel good. And that's all right too. Okay. So I know, I know that the Lord used that hailstorm as a metaphor of the Passover of this storm of the Passover that I've already crossed over. And when I started the Passover, when he was showing me to start it, I was praying for you all according to 2 Chronicles 30, verses 17, 18, and 19. I believe that was that I just read. Because I knew everybody wasn't going to be prepared. And he, God is not playing with his church. That's all I got to say. He's not playing with you, the church. He's not playing with the buildings, the church. He is not playing. In the mighty name of Jesus. I did not want to be on here doing this. Okay. I know some of y'all ain't never seen me this heated. But here it is. This is a holy righteous anger. I could be somewhere in my salon. Doing eyelashes. And being okay. In the back. But God said no. I want you on the front lines. Because my kingdom matters. And I'm about to embarrass everything that rises up against my kingdom and exalts itself or themselves above me. My God, I got to go. My son is playing his game. I love you all with the love of Christ. I'm praying for you all. Please continue to pray for me in Jesus name.